Now, how do we name the branch chain hydrocarbons? What is their nomenclature? Okay. Now, the first step in that is is select a parent chain. How do you do that? It is the it is the longest chain. It is the longest chain. Fine. This is the longest chain that that you can see. And 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 we are doing the nomenclature of branch chain chain alkanes. Okay, the rules become slightly different when they are not alkanes. So, so what we are saying right now is strictly for alkanes. Fine. Yeah. Because because then you'll see this the selection of parent chain that changes. Okay, and it is not necessarily what we are saying saying here. So 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 here it is the longest straight chain and as I told you as we as we discussed that even though say it is it is something like like this here this will be considered a straight chain though it does not look like a straight chain why because we have we have the freedom of stretching this like this and writing the c above this okay so this is the longest longest chain that you can think of fine and many a times this creates a problem so you you have to be doubly sure what it is okay So, so if I go through this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, while 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay. So this becomes the parent chain, this becomes the parent chain and not, this is the parent chain, okay. This is correct. If you had selected If you had selected this, it would be wrong. Why? It has eight carbons. Sorry, nine carbons. This has ten carbons. That's why it will be wrong. So that's our first step. Fine. Then. Then we have to do the numbering of this parent chain. Then you have to do the numbering, numbering the, the parent chain. So first we select a parent chain, then we number the parent chain. Then we number the parent chain. And how do you number? You have to number it in such a manner, in from such a direction, that the first branch that you encounter gets the lowest number. Okay. So what happens? Here, here I can, I can, this is the parent chain, I have selected it, this is correct, this is, this is the wrong choice. So if this is the wrong choice, I'll, I'll erase it, okay, understand. Now what do we do? We have to name it. How do I name it? Number it? There are two ways, fine. The way 
I have done in green. Obviously, there are hydrogen atoms attached to it. I have just drawn the skeleton of the carbon, right? So, so either that or this. You cannot go like that. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry. So. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What happens? The side chain here occurs at 7, here it occurs at 4. So the red numbering will, will hold. Correct? That is called the lowest locant rule. Locant rule. Okay. Fine. The numbering is done in such a manner that the side chains get the lowest number. Okay? Get the point. Now there could be more than one side chain. So don't lose sight of that. It could be possible that there are more than more than one side chain. So maybe there is a chain here as well. So suppose if there was a chain here too, house over small does not matter. Then the green numbering would have held. When there was a C here as well. Okay. So, so you have to keep that in mind have to keep that in mind. Okay. Now if there are two side chains, okay. Two side chains such that say from this side you are getting you are getting say Say it is something like this. Or no? No, I, I'll discuss that when, when we come to it. So, so you just bother about this wherever the first hits. What I was trying to say was. Suppose from one side you get 3, 7 and from the other side you get 3, 8, then you'll, you'll, you'll pick this, not this. That means after the first is satisfied, if the second is the lower, at times, at times, it will be written as the sum of the locants, but it is not that. So, so don't, don't ever even think of that. It is, it is where you hit the first, okay. So, for example, if from the other side you were getting it as say 4, 2 and the sum of this is 6 and the sum of this is 10, still which will hold 3, 7, 
where you hit the first. The first has to be the lowest. After that criteria gets satisfied and you have an identical numbering from two sides, then the thing goes to the second. Okay? And that's how. So don't take it as the sum of the locant rule. This is what I was trying to, to tell because, because that will be absolutely wrong. If you sum them, this is 6, this is 10, but still this is correct. Now, that is how you number the parent chain. Fine? Fine. And now that you have identified the side chains, and now that you have selected a parent chain and you have numbered it, what you do? The side chains are written as prefixes. The side chains are written as prefixes. Okay. With their numbers, with their numbers, okay. And what is important is it is written in alphabetical order, okay. This is very, very vital, and many a times what happens. We lose sight of this. Okay, we lose sight of this. For example, for example, let us let us have a have a chain like this. Okay, say a chain like this, and a branch here okay and a branch say here then first of all how do I select the parent chain it is quite evident that this is my parent chain how many one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight so obviously the nine will hold now if I come from here I'll get four five six seven eight four eight no four one at four another at Eight. here it is it is one at two so this is the lowest locant rule this rule three four five six seven eight nine what do you have at two at two so so what you do you first write it as a non in right you 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 first write the parent chain I have number so let us let us try to understand let us see, I have a 2-methyl, no? Then, okay, so, so give, give, it, give it full kind of space, no name, 2-methyl, okay? 2-methyl, 6-ethyl. Okay, and then you have to arrange it in alphabetical order. Okay, you have to arrange it in alphabetical order. Okay, so six ethyl two methyl. Why? Because E comes first, then metal nonane. That will be the name. Understand? Now there is an interesting thing that you should know. Iso neo. are taken as names of the alkyl group what am i trying to say 
what am i trying to say is if it is isopropyl and you are trying to set the precedence maybe say say you have six isopropyl and four methyl then try to understand no this i is taken as the name of the alkyl group so that will come first don't take this they are taken as names of the alkyl group yes six isopropyl four methyl whatever maybe decay or whatever whatever no i am just saying suppose suppose there would have been something like this i am not saying this is the name of this please please don't get confused i am saying if there was something six isopropyl four methyl okay then isopropyl will come first because i said that this is taken as the name this is an integral part of the alkyl iso neo okay however sec sec and tert are not taken as names of the alkyl group so if you have sec butyl and maybe 3 sec butyl and 4 methyl then 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 this will come first and not go later just because there is a sec s here why because because if you are if you are talking about so here i and m was taken here b and m will be taken so 3 sec butyl will be there sec is not considered the name of the uh, as not an integral part of the name of an alkyl group mm -hmm. because because maybe yeah it, it is it is actually indicating the number sec and tert they are indicating the nature of the carbon and doing nothing else but but iso and neo are maybe telling you the way the carbon is connected the carbon is connected so Mm -hmm. get the point <clears throat> now i erase this so the first is select a parent chain number the parent chain then you write the side chains as prefixes with their numbers in alphabetical order separated by dashes so they'll be separated by dashes as long as there are numbers numbers are separated by dashes okay numbers separated by dashes that is also important that is not written somewhere numbers are separated by dashes understand numbers are separated by dashes that is important so if if the number comes in between even before that there will be a dash after that there will be a dash don't start liberally using the dashes so ethyl and then a dash and a methyl and a dash and a no name it will be absolutely wrong okay the these names have their own punctuation rules fine yeah commas do come we'll show show that hmm no when the when the same alkyl groups are attached to different different carbons of the parent parent chain okay so 